guys, I'm so excited. I brought you with me to that furniture art flip um, for the Burke Arts Council and the Habitat for Humanity. And I can't wait to show you what they've got. So here we go. So we're going to go around and look at all the different items and we're going to look at some regular pieces and we're going to look at some of the auction items. So look at this right out of the gate, $28.50. I love this cabinet. I love the metal on it. I love the scroll work. Oh, I thought it was so pretty. And of course, you know, they have great furniture all around. So $150 for that beautiful chest. And look at this, so $37.50, this wasn't part of the auction, but I love that they've got these Disney uh, inspired prints marked down. And this is one of the artwork pieces. This was an original oil painting. And uh, we're gonna go through, and I actually found a really valuable piece here, so I can't wait to show you that. This is one of the auction items. So someone had redone this chest, and they did the most beautiful uh, job with the top of this. It's actually like a stained glass art piece, and the top was really heavy. I thought that was beautiful. I want to look at this. We've seen this before and I just wanted to showcase it again. So they had clipboards set out so you could put your bid and your contact information. And they also had bowls that you could put a vote in for People's Choice Award. So uh, every item in here was up for that award. Isn't that beautiful? I just love, 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 love that piece of furniture. Oh, and look at these. I thought this was so clever. So someone had taken these old end tables. I love the gray color on the base. I thought that was beautiful. I think it has great storage. But look at this. I have no idea. They did this inlaid blue. I guess it was some type of acrylic or glass in the wood. I thought that was gorgeous. And this was so clever. So someone had taken a mid-century old lamp and look, they made it into this beautiful planter. Isn't that a clever idea? I think everyone just did such a fabulous job with all their flips. Oh, and look at this. So this is another one. Someone had taken an old sewing machine and a butcher block. They creatively put it together and they made this beautiful little accent table. Oh, and here's another one. So this was an older chair. Someone had taken it, redone it. I love just the flat paint on it. And of course, you know, I love that nail head trim. And look, look at the detail in that trim. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like little flowers. So they did the nail head trim. And look, they painted the flowers on the back. I thought that was really, really pretty. And they have these items sitting all through the store. And like I said, we're going to go through and look at some regular items and some of their auction items. Oh, you know I love this cabinet. So we saw this before, but I got to tell you, it had a little surprise on the side. I didn't see those dragonflies on the side of the door last time. So I just wanted to showcase that and show you just how beautiful this piece of furniture is. Oh, and here's just a regular item. So a little wine rack. And look at this. So you could store your corks in this for $12.50. I love the Eiffel Tower wine cork storage. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. That would be pretty to hang your jewelry on. And of course, you know I say, go to your Habitat Restore for lamps. So this was $14.50 and it looked like one of those expensive designer lamps that we've been seeing for way more money. Isn't that beautiful? It was so much fun going here after hours. They had a band, um, they had hors d'oeuvres. It was just so much fun. And look at this, so someone recreated this old chair into a Southwestern top theme. Oh, and look at this little accent table. I thought this was so sweet with the birds on it. Very simple, very clean, but beautiful. Oh, I gotta tell you, I put a bid in on this. So it's a pet bed with a ball. Look at this. Someone, I think they took the old baby cradle or doll bed and recreated it into this fabulous pet bed. So my husband and I were there. We put a bid on it. Oh, and I gotta tell you, we didn't get it. Oh, I was so sad, but you know someone's gonna love that. And look at this. So they had some really unique items. So these normally sell, I think the average was $75. So they had a whole set of these.
Oh, and look at this. So we saw this before, but I just wanted to showcase it again. Someone had taken this old chest and covered it with leather. I thought that was really interesting. And this person had their business card on it. It said Mod Squad Home. Look at this. So they took a mid-century chair and they made it modern. I love the orange back on it. I just, of course, was looking around um, while they were getting everything set up. So this is just some of the regular items they have for sale. They had a lot of like silver, silver plated items. I just wanted to showcase that. I thought that would be a beautiful vase uh, for a centerpiece on your table. And look at these goblets. These were a set of two pewter goblets for $10. I thought that was a really good deal. So look at this, it says Vintage American Cut Glass Pitcher for $35. I love that, I love the red in it. Oh, I thought that was so beautiful. And look at this unique piece. I had never seen anything like it. So it says Vintage Unusual Pitcher, Ribbed Glass, Silver Plated Top, Bear Spout, $22. Look at that, isn't that? different. <laughs> I liked it. And here's another shot around the store. And you know our money goes to a good cause. Here is a $25 uh, watercolor picture. And I love that. That was part of the Art Council's exhibit. And I love that they partnered together with the Habitat for Humanity Restore uh, with this auction. So, and you know I love a lamp, $24.50. I thought that was a really good deal. And look at these candlesticks. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, I thought they were so pretty. I love the silver. I love the cut glass. They actually even had some crystal. So this one was really heavy, $8.50. And that was actually a leaded crystal. Oh, and I thought this one was pretty. This was a silver or silver plated. Gottinger silver plated. And this was just a little cut glass one for $2.50. Wouldn't that make your table fancy? <laughs> and they just had some really unique decor pieces sitting around. Oh, and look at these. I was really drawn to these. So uh, they looked really fragile. It said hand painted, hand wash only, normally $21.99. And they have the best deals on these, like $4.50. Look at this little toothbrush holder for $2.50. Wouldn't that make your bathroom look fabulous? And I guess this is a little votive holder. I thought that was really pretty. Um, of course, you're only gonna pay a few dollars at the ReStore. And look at the little soap dish. Oh, I love that. And yes, hello beautiful to everyone out there. <laughs> And you know I love the um, artwork at the Habitat Restore. They have beautiful pieces sitting around. Again, this isn't part of the auction, just some regular items. Here's another shot around the store, and it was so much fun just going through and looking at all the different items that people had brought back for their auction to raise money for the Habitat Homes. And look at this. So it's an antique ironstone pot with a lid, and I think it was $35. Oh, this made my heart race. I loved it. And look at this little hand-painted coffee pot, and this is part of their antiques and Uniques collection, and every uh, Habitat Restore that I've been to has that section. Oh, and look at this. So it's chamber pots. I oh, know, chamber pots, but look, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> Oh, I thought they were so pretty. Um, I guess you could use it as a planter. I don't know, but I thought they were beautiful.
Oh, and look at this face. So they're not sure the age of this face, but um, it has a hole in the bottom of it. You can make it into a lamp. They had it for $30. I thought that was beautiful. Oh, I loved everything about that. And it was really heavy. And I gotta tell you, I was nervous trying to lift that with one hand. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. And look at this. So someone had taken an old um, window pane, an old window frame, and made it into this beautiful piece of artwork. I love it. And look at the detail. I'm not sure if that's some type of gauze that they've put on the back of it with pressed flowers and some type of fiber, but isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love the colors. That'd be pretty as a headboard for a bed. And look at this chair. So this is a mid-century chair. And we had seen this in one of my prior videos. It was dark, I think with a red uh, cover on it, and they made it really Really modern and look someone had taken these beautiful dishes and created the most unique little garden ornament I'm assuming they're flowers I thought they were beautiful would that make your garden just look real whimsical and magical oh I thought those were so pretty oh and look at this chair I thought someone did a great job recreating this chair very artistic I think that would be beautiful in your office and then, of course, another person took just some regular old window panes, windows that I'm sure someone was going to throw away, and did a beautiful job painting them. And look at this. So here's a watercolor. Again, this is part of the Arts Council exhibit. And it had a little French quote at the bottom. And you'll have to let me know. I think it says, do you have the beautiful flowers today? So here's another shot around the store. I see an old antique waterfall dresser they redid back there. And look at this table. I mean, people are just so clever. I thought that was beautiful. I love the blue. Wouldn't that be a beautiful accent table in your living room? Oh, and look at this desk. Oh, who wouldn't want a desk with purple flowers on it? Wouldn't that make doing your schoolwork more fun? So anybody who's homeschooling or has a little desk set up at home for their kids, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, so clever. Great idea. Oh, and of course, for your friend who has everything, this was just a regular item. <laughs> I loved it. And yes, cats are better than dogs, says my little Ric Flair. Oh, and I love this. I thought this was beautiful. So you could get this pair of watercolor prints uh, signed by the artist. And look at this. So this is an original oil painting by Blanding. And I looked that up online and his items sell for, I think three or $400. So that really was a piece of artwork uh, that I should not have passed up. And then of course, we're just in uh, some regular items. I love all their Coca-Cola glasses. And I gotta tell you, there's a piece of artwork coming up. Oh, I'm almost sick over it that I let it go by. I'm learning, guys. I, you know, I'm certainly, uh, I don't know art like I should, but I'm going to learn it because I'm really coming across some great items at these Habitat Restores. So I hope that you're enjoying coming along with me. I certainly love bringing you with me. And this was just really special because it was an auction, something different. I think all the Habitat Restores maybe do different things to raise money for the Habitat homes in their community. So look at this. That's an oil on canvas. I thought that was beautiful. Still not the one that I was talking about that I passed up. Oh. oh, look at these presidential books. I thought this was really interesting. So these were public papers and it was published for, um, I think it was Lyndon Johnson and the Jimmy Carter era. So I thought that was uh, really interesting. I mean, you never know what you're gonna find at your restore and especially at these auctions. Look at this chess set. These were hand carved pieces. Oh, I thought that was really neat. And I just wanted to show you the detail. I mean, look at that. Wow. Isn't that intricate? So if you have someone in the family who loves to play chess, that would be a great gift. Okay, so it's coming up. Here it is. So it's a rare, unique wood block created in 1962 by the Japanese artist Toshi Yoshida. 
and this goes for sale anywhere from $400 to $800. His works have sold at Sotheby's and they're in permanent museums around the world. So, oh, I can just kick myself. I should have tried to get that. <laughs> I will learn. I will learn. <laughs> And so look at this. These are just some regular items. Again, they had around the store. This was so much fun. I'm just so grateful that I got to be a part of this auction just to go experience all the different items they had. Oh, and of course, you know I love the swirly wrought iron. I thought that was beautiful. And like I always say, check out your Habitat Restore for baskets. So they have this beautiful little wood and metal basket. And I gotta tell you, I did take something home. I bought this planter, I loved it. So I hope everyone's having a good day out there and thank you as always for coming along with me. And until next time, come go with me today, bye.